Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Resilient with your host, me, Wintertooth100. And in today's episode, we need to build a farm, an AFK farm, specifically a mob drop, mob loot, mob, mob, uh, stuffy stuff farm. Cause, uh, the first project I want to work on is, uh, quite a, quite a ways away from the teleport spawn area. I know the last episode, uh, that we were going to do something like uh, in the Kakariko village, but you no, know, I, I want to do something that excites me, and that is also going to allude to a change on the server. Two changes, actually. Uh, the first change is um, I swapped up my video links to be closer to the 10 minutes, and yeah, I was trying it out, and I probably haven't done enough videos to really. Uh, get a feel for how the algorithm treats that and so it's probably a bit biased for me to uh, stop doing that so soon but you know what uh, I make these videos for fun and the making myself do those short videos uh, is really not fun for me <laughs> and I'd rather do longer ones and get to speak my mind and that's what I really like about this is being able to sit down here and just talk and talk and talk about whatever I feel like talking about and when I do 10 minute videos I don't get to do that so eh, the videos are just gonna be whatever length they happen to be so there's that change the other change that I was talking about for the server is uh, my videos are going to very very temporarily not not for not for long but temporarily they're going to change up and we're not gonna get one episode five days a week we're gonna swap it down to three days a week and it's very temporary that time that I would be making a video I am going to instead be working on rebeating uh, Skyward Sword Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword because I did a poll several videos ago to see if anybody would be interested in me reviving my old series that I did on my original channel and Skyward Sword won out big time and so for me to be able to do that series I need to be able to uh, have access to all the areas in that game so I have something to see and reference and I don't currently have a save file of it so, so I'm gonna have to rebeat that game in order for me to be able to sit here and uh, be able to reference stuff from that game to build here in Minecraft. And once that is done, once I've done that, uh, we are going to uh, then use those two episode slots. They will return, but they won't be resilient. They will be building Skyward Sword. Uh, just so everyone knows what's going on. I'm not <laughs> I'm not losing interest or anything. I'm just taking the time to make sure I have all of my material ready uh, so we can continue doing the other series that I promised we would do and Skyward Sword 1. So we're gonna, you know, just prep for that. In the meantime, we are building a platform way up in the sky for a mob farm. It's just your basic dropper mob farm, so We'll sit AFK up there, and 20 or so blocks away from us, uh, there will be a, a, you know, just a dark box with some redstone that has some uh, water uh, dispensers with water buckets in them, and they'll just periodically click on and click off, pushing the mobs down into a chute. They'll fall, they'll die, they'll get collected by hoppers and put in a chest, and that's just a quick way to gain a bunch of gunpowder, which we are really going to need. Did I see a ship down here? I thought I did. We're really going to... It did. We're really going to need a ton of gunpowder if one of the projects we're going to be working on is going to uh, require us to fly back and forth probably a lot, frequently. Oh, look at that. That's a good find. And I'll take these and I'll just leave these behind because who needs that? So, let me continue working on this big box in the sky, because that's all it is. It's just a really big box. <laughs> so, dang it. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that when I placed the block. Uh, yep, we're just going to build this big box in the sky, 
and I will see you guys in a moment. And this is what I mean by a big box. So you see we got this very distinct shape on the ground. For those of you who've played this game before, you, you'll recognize that as uh, the shape that water will flow at 8 blocks in length. So these dispensers will get activated, which will essentially just put a source block here, and it flows out. So there may be some problems with this because the water mechanics have changed and sometimes the water doesn't always want to push things all the way, like you see me very slowly creeping to the edge, like not touching the buttons or anything. And of course there's no water here so I may just hit this block and stop moving, but yeah, just like that. But essentially we have five levels and each level um, will activate. So all of the odd ones will activate on one wall while all of the even levels activate on the other wall. That way we have this back and forth uh, mix. Uh, that way we can hit as many as we can and try to hit the random spawn locations for certain mobs, you know. Uh, it's also two blocks in height so we don't get things like Endermen popping up in here and trying to wreck some stuff even though we have them so they can't pick up any blocks. <laughs> but So Endermen won't, won't spawn in here. Not, they, they wouldn't help the farm anyway. The water would touch them and they would teleport away. And they would just consume the mob cap in here. We don't want that. So five blocks in height, or five levels in height, which makes this a total, counting the, the ground floor, I believe 15 blocks. 16 if you count the layer of half slabs that go on the top of it. Uh, so you want to build this kind of as close to uh, the build height as you can and you'll see that we're on uh, 230 right here and if we climb up to the top if we have time before that sunsets <laughs> uh, I think we get up to 245 ish yeah pretty close 244 and then 245 if you count the slab on top because it puts you at 244.5 and just like that we had a big jump in time uh, I basically just put the whole box together because it's not that interesting uh, I also had to take a break overnight, which is why this video is coming out late. I missed yesterday's upload, which was going to be this video, but I had to AFK overnight to get all of the hoppers for all the stuff that I did down there, and I just didn't have enough iron, so I had to spend a night AFK. Uh, but I wanted you guys to get a, a look at the inside of this before I seal up the top. You can see we have uh, the first, third, and fifth floor active on water on one side. And on the other side, we have the second and fourth. So when these things flip flop, then this one will be one, three, and five, and this one will be two and four. And they'll just trade places and rotate monsters. That way, we always have five floors of spawning area and five floors that are actively pushing off mobs that already spawned. And they get funneled down into that little hole down there where they'll fall onto a bunch of hoppers and be killed from the fall. And then it gets collected in a collection zone over there. If we come around this way, towards the front, you'll see all of the lines that we put together. And I, I took down the ladder prematurely, I had to fly up there. And of course I turned all my sounds down because that water is obnoxious. Uh, but we got all the redstone in, which is really just redstone dust and repeaters. And you can see how much lag we have. I just took that fall damage, just then. <laughs> uh, but the only thing we're missing, apart from the roof on the top, which I'm going to put in first, before this, the only thing we're missing is a piece of dust here and a piece of dust here, so this eco clock just works its way through and it'll blink these things and that's what causes the water to tick on and off inside of there. And we come down this way and we can see we made the dropper and it falls all the way down to the bottom where all these mobs get captured. Uh, the AFK spot is right here. It's perfect distance so things load up in there and it's also perfect distance so nothing despawns before it hits the killing platform. <laughs> That's important. You don't want them to despawn right before they're going to hit the bottom. Uh, but underneath this line of bricks is a bunch of furnaces and hoppers. And I heard somewhere that furnaces on top of hoppers make the hoppers perform better. I don't know. But our, our server can't handle us just messing with it that much. So anything that might make it run better, I'm doing. Uh, but then we have a bunch of uh, classic uh, item sorter locks on each of the chests in here. And 
if we pop down in here, you'll see. Ooh, my nope, my connection is not getting better. <laughs> you'll see we have uh, four chest slots dedicated to gunpowder, and I had to use my own. Gun I had to use all my own resources because this isn't running yet to get these filled and locked in. And we have four for bones, four for string. It wraps around the top right there. Four for arrows, and then these last four are, are for whatever else comes through. Uh, these will mostly fill up with uh, rotten flesh. Uh, but if those manage to fill up and are too much, if any of them manage to fill up, uh, we do have an overflow system right here, which we can't see because I got it hidden underneath these blocks, but it's just a dropper clock thing. So any additional items that just don't fit in these, which I don't think we'll ever reach, will get dropped down into the dropper, activating the little redstone circuit, forcing it to click off into a puddle of lava right there. So that'll take care of any extra uh, overflow that we may run into. But again, we have four rows of double chests, which are four in height. So a total of 16 double chests that can handle overflow of random stuff. Again, I mostly expect that to fill with rotten flesh. <laughs> but, now, uh, this farm is basically done. All I need to do is uh, put the roof on it, put the two pieces of dust in there, and knock out these extra scaffolding blocks we don't need. And then I can AFK here. So, let me finish this up, and I'm going to AFK for one hour. All of those chests down there that are, have uh, item sorted in them have 23 of whatever item they're being sorted into. So just for reference, whatever we get after one hour, minus 23 for each of those. So let me finish it, let me AFK for one hour, and let's see how good this farm actually runs. Alright guys, it's only been 20 minutes, and we haven't even technically made it through one whole night yet, which is only a 10 minute cycle, and it's been almost twice as long as that. And there's a solid chance we might get kicked from the server before we can go down and see how well this... You can see mobs are dropping, so I know, you know, it's it's working, but... Oh, there we go, we got kicked. And we're back on. There's a solid chance that we're getting kicked because the server can't handle the water flowing, and having Optifine will definitely help. And as of the making of this video, Optifine's at... Uh, 90% complete, so hopefully we'll have it really soon. But you can see 20 minutes, even with this much lagging, I've been kicked like literally 15 times. Like, that's still a good chunk, and we should see roughly close to the same numbers for each of the categories. Spiders might be a little lower just because they like to climb on the walls, and they don't always die. And the skeletons can spawn with armor, and they can possibly survive the fall. Uh, and then we should have Let's see, four chest sets, so then all these should just be random. Yeah, and as I predicted, it's pretty much all rotten flesh. Uh, it's possible for us to get, like, um, glowstone, dust, and redstone, and bottles, and stuff, because witches. Because witches are a thing. <laughs> but I think that's going to be it for today's video. I'm afraid to fly, because we'll just get kicked. <laughs> but let's see if I can't snag a picture. If uh, the server will hold out. Hey, there we go. And nice. <laughs> I might have to get a better one than that. But I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. We just wanted to work on this farm. And oh, see, there's a good picture. Ready? Oop. Got it. And got it. <laughs> but I think we'll find if we get away from that thing. Oh, someone's been digging here. Someone's been messing up my islands. Oh boy, you feel that lag? Ugh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it. I know that's like the fourth time I've said that. Oh boy, look at that! That is some terrible lag. Just, just get on, just yeah, get on the ground. <laughs> so, yep. Let's call it right there. The server's having a little bit of issues today, and uh, well, I don't. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Hopefully, it's just being in proximity to that farm and all of its water sources but uh, if that's the case Optifine should fix that so I shrug my shoulders yeah you know, we'll, we'll see we'll see but in the meantime I'm gonna continue to keep trying to AFK there because we still need a ton of rockets for uh, the big project that we're gonna be working on uh, we're going to be building 
the uh, facade, the outside part of the temple, uh, in the snow biome area. So look forward to that. It's going to be really neat. It's a pretty, pretty neat castle. And uh, yeah, it's, trust me, it's, it's not like the castle over there. It's, it's very unique and looks really, really cool. So with that, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. Leave a like if you like. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one.